So I'm going to talk about another operation that you know, you, you can do with polynomials, multiplication. I'm not going to group multiplication and division um, because when we get into division, it's, there's two different ways we can do that dependent. So I have videos on that. So just multiplication of polynomials, uh, multiplying polynomials. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do this with examples, but just recall real fast um, that when you're multiplying, so properties of exponents, when you're multiplying two terms with the same base, right, uh, with the same base, with the same base but different exponents, now I'm multiplying these two terms. I maintain the base and I add the exponents. 5 plus 4 is 9. So this is a property of exponents that we're going to use when we're doing multiplication of polynomials. When we multiply two terms with the same base, we add the exponents. So let's start with um, a monomial times a trinomial. Now, first thing that we're going to do is just multiply a monomial by any other polynomial. So how do I multiply a monomial times any other polynomial, in this case, a trinomial? Very simple. You're just distributing this monomial into every term in the parentheses. This gets multiplied by every term in these parentheses. So let's start with the first term, 2x to the third times 5x squared. So the way that I do this is I start with the coefficients, 2 times 5, 10. And then I multiply the x to the third times x squared. And when I do that, I maintain the base and I add the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5, right? The only time I add the exponent is when I'm multiplying two terms. Let's go to the next one. 2x to the third times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6. x to the third times x to the 1 I add the exponents, x to the fourth, because I'm multiplying those two terms. 2x to the third times negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and then you just keep x to the third because there's no other x here. This is my final product. Not difficult, but I don't want you confusing multiplication where you add the exponents, you know, um, with like addition where you maintain the exponents. Do not confuse the two. Be very careful. Um... This is a particular situation where I'm multiplying binomials, okay? Multiplying two binomials. So in the first example, I'm showing multiplication of a monomial times any other polynomial. All you have to do is distribute it. But if I'm multiplying binomials in particular, this is where your FOIL method comes into play. FOIL is, you don't even, you could technically get away without knowing FOIL, but it does, I guess, simplify um, uh, FOIL, your process of, of multiplication first. So the F stands for first. O, FOIL, stands for outer. I stands for inner. And L stands for last. So let's just look at um, 2x minus 3, which is a binomial, times 5x plus 4, which is a binomial. So I'm going to multiply. Let me move this down for a second. I'm going to multiply, we're using FOIL, yeah, I want to multiply every term here by every term here, which is what FOIL does for me. So let's follow the process of FOIL. Let's do F first. F basically is the product of the first two terms in your, um, in your two binomials, so 2x times 5x. So 2 times 5 is 10. And x times x is x squared. So this is my f, my first part of FOIL. Um, <clears throat> my o, outer. I'm taking two outer terms. So this is my outer term, and this is my outer term. Take the two outer terms and multiply them. My two outer terms. So 2x times 4 is positive 8x. My i. My I stands for the two inner terms, multiplying the two inner terms. Um, in this case is the negative 3 and the 5x. So negative 3 times, oops, <laughs> times 5x. So that's a negative 15x. Oops. I don't want to move. Um, 
negative 15 is. And then L stands for last, right? I'm going to multiply the two last terms. That's this one and this one. Multiply the two last terms in my binomials. And then negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Now you're not done if you have like terms, which most of the time, or you know, depending on what your binomials look like, you're going to have like terms, which you need to combine to simplify. So 10x squared comes down, this 8x minus 15x, negative 7x combined, right? Maintain the variable now, minus 12 is my final product. Um, I want to do one more product of binomials. Let's say a 2x squared plus 3 times a 4x plus 1. I'm going to do a quick FOIL just to verify that we know how to do this. F first, multiply the two first terms. 2x to the second times 4x. 8x to the third, right? Outer, the two outer terms. Multiply the two outer terms. 2x squared times 1, positive 2x squared. I stands for the two inner terms. Multiply those. 3 times 4x is positive 12x. And last, multiply the two last terms. 3 times 1 is 3. This situation, I don't have like terms, so I'm finally done. And my answer is in standard form for me, too. Look at that. <laughs> FOIL. So as you can see, you're basically taking this term and distributing it first into every term in the second polynomial. And then you're taking this term and distributing it because every term here has to get multiplied by every term here. So FOIL takes care of that for you. But that's only if you're multiplying two binomials. Now I'm mentioning that because what if I have a situation where I am multiplying a binomial and a trinomial. It doesn't follow my first case, a monomial. I can't just distribute. It's not multiplication of binomials. I can't use FOIL because I don't have two binomials. So what do I do here? So that's where I was talking about the fact that when you're multiplying polynomials, technically every term here has to get multiplied by every term here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by distributing the 2x. 2x is going to get multiplied by every term in second polynomial first. So let's start there. 2x times 5x squared is 10x to the third. 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared. 2x times 3 is positive 6x. Now this is um, just the first part. This is the 2x distributed to every term here. But now I have to distribute the negative 3. That has to get distributed to every term in the second polynomial as well. So now I'm going to continue this line. Negative 3 times 5x squared is minus 15x squared. Negative 3 times negative 2x is positive 6x. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Now every term here got multiplied by every term here. All those uh, products, all those uh, terms got written here. Now all I have to do is combine like terms and put it in standard form to simplify. 10x to the third is my first because it's the highest exponent and there's nothing like that. But then I have two x squared terms which need to, need to be combined. So now I am adding terms. Negative 4, negative 15 is negative 19. Maintain the x squared. Positive 6, positive 6x plus a 12. x. Maintain. Right? I only add exponents when I'm multiplying. I'm maintaining the variable, and then minus 9 is my final product.